In this video, I will show you how to turn any image into a detailed 3D model and how you can 3D print literally anything, starting with nothing but a picture. And I'm not talking about basic models like a flower pot we did in a previous video. I'm talking about the advanced detailed models like whole sculptures and many more. We will be using AI to make that happen and yes, this whole process is absolutely free. The tool we're going to work with is called CSM AI and you can find the proper link in the description of this video. To access its power, you need to create a new account and confirm your email address. The confirmation link will be sent to your inbox within a few minutes. And don't worry, as I said before, it is a free process. Once you make an account, log in and you should now see an empty interface. To start a new project, select Generate 3D Model and choose an image from your files. You can choose any image, but remember that it is always better to go for the photos with plain background, so that your object can be easily identified by the AI. If you choose an image with a lot of different items, you may get less satisfying results, but to be honest, it is still amazing how even the complicated pictures can be analyzed with such a precision. I'm actually scared how fast this is developing. Once you upload your image, it will be added to 3D assets in a form of a new project. Select it and enjoy the magic of the times you're living in. CSM has analyzed the object on the photo and created the estimated top, side and back view. This is the moment for you to decide if the views are looking mostly accurate and if you want to proceed with this image. If for some reason the views are too distorted, that means the AI had a hard time with analyzing your image and you should probably try with some other photo. It doesn't necessarily mean the object you picked is doomed, you can try googling the same item with different background or perspective. It may help quite a lot. However, if initial views are looking more or less ok, go ahead and click Generate in the right upper corner. The simplified model is now being created, as the yellow dot informs us. Depending on how many people are using this feature right now, this process should take anything between 3 to 15 minutes. When the work is done, you will get access to your 3D model. Use left mouse button to rotate it around, scroll to zoom and right mouse button to move it. Keep in mind this is just a preview model and you can make it even better. You can either download the model right now if you're happy with its quality, or go a step further and refine your project. It is going to improve your model even more, but it's going to take few hours to do that. The good news is, you don't need to have your computer on during this process. I usually just leave it refining for the night, and when I log in the next day, all the models are complete. And the quality is just amazing. It's hard to believe you can get such results for free. If you're wondering how significant is the difference between preview model and a refined one, here's a brief comparison. This is a preview model of Poseidon's antique sculpture. It's fully generated with the image I found online. And this is refined model. I've imported both objects into Blender so I can make some required adjustments before 3D printing them. And don't worry, I will teach you all of this process in a minute. But first, let me share a few tips on generating your own models. From what I've learned after many many tries, you should always try to find an image with your object facing the camera. Whenever I have uploaded image with some tilted perspective, like characters turning towards the viewer from the side, the AI had a really hard time with understanding how the back of the model should look like. If you stick to the front view images, you will get more satisfying results. For the second tip, you may be surprised that CSM also deals pretty well with drawings and sketches. Even with shadows provided by nothing but a pencil on a paper, AI does pretty good job with understanding how the geometry should work in a 3D space. Your image doesn't need to be a realistic picture. It could be, basically, anything. So go and have some fun with that. By the way, this is also a great example to a previous tip. 
This character is not in a front perspective, so the geometry is distorted. So, to keep a clean outcome and save yourself from unexpected nightmares, just use a front view images. Third tip will revolve around choosing your object. You need to understand the limits of image to 3D model technique in order to utilize the most of it. Tools like CSM can provide you with a great looking models and really advanced geometry. However, this technology has its downsides. Basing on a picture, which is a two-dimensional source, the AI can only estimate the 3D version to a certain point. Therefore, when choosing the object you want to create, I would suggest going for rather flat items. The more information is missing on the picture, the more far-fetched the 3D model will be. For example, when I use these facial sculptures, architecture details or even whole statues, the results were awesome because most of the information was already in the image. However, when I use the front picture of a car, which, as we know, has a lot of elements on its sides and back, the AI had too little information about the whole object and could only produce this monstrosity. So, as long as you stick to objects that can be easily described with just one photo, where most of the crucial information is already visible, you will have a great time with this tool. And for the last tip, let's talk about the Community Showcase. Accessible on the left side of the screen, it is nothing less than a huge gallery of 3D models already generated by other users. Not only is it a great source of inspiration, you can actually download any model you find here and use it however you wish to. Feeling like 3D printing Kratos bust from God of War? Export, choose refined model, select file extension and there you have it. But how to prepare a 3D object like this one so it can be printed easily without any issues? Well, I'm glad you asked because now I will show you my most efficient routine of 3D printing AI generated models. This part will cover the basics you should be familiar with in order to turn your models into clean and pretty 3D prints. We will use Blender, which is a free software you can download from the link in the description. Do not worry if it's your first encounter with this program. I will guide you step by step and the whole process should only take few minutes. Once you open Blender, select the default objects with A and delete them. Go to File, Import and choose the file extension you used to download the models from CSM AI. For me, it's an OBJ extension, so I will choose Wavefront OBJ. Find the previously saved model and click Import. If your model is highly detailed, it may take a few seconds to process it. Some models will have floating parts which we must get rid of. And to do that, select your model and click Tab. Now press 1 on your keyboard to see the vertices and select anyone that belongs to your model. Now click Ctrl L, which will highlight everything connected within this one object. Ctrl I will reverse the selection to every other object, in other words, all the garbage. Now press Delete and all the floating artifacts will disappear. Click Tab again to close the edit mode. Now let's move out our model to make it look better. Select your model, find the little wrench on the right and in the modifiers menu find subdivision surface. With this slider you can control intensity of this effect, but be careful since going too high with this number can freeze your computer. Once you're happy with the result, click apply. Now let's choose a side we want to work as a base. As you can see, the AI-generated models have quite an organic shape, even the flat surfaces are not exactly flat, which can be annoying. After all, you don't want your 3D print to waggle on an uneven surface. To fix it, select your model and click Tab to go into edit mode. By pressing 1, 3 or 7 on your Numlock keyboard, you can switch to front, side or top view. Let's say I want this side to be completely flat. I will now press the Z button and while holding it, select the wireframe mode with my cursor. 
Make sure you are working on vertices and then select a bunch of them near the bottom. Make sure to make it a straight line and to grab just enough vertices to cover the whole bottom. Now we will scale it in just one direction. For me it will be the Z axis, so I press S, then Z and follow with 0. This combination literally means scale only in Z axis, scale to 0, which is flat. You can also move base of your model up or down with G and X, Y or Z. Hold Z, move cursor to the right and click Tab to exit edit mode. And there you go! Your model is ready for printing, so let's save it. Select the model, go to File, Export, STL and save it wherever you like. If you're feeling creative, you can also modify the models to your own liking. I usually play with the sculpt mode and other features to make the details crispier, but this is a material for another video. If you wish to see a tutorial and more advanced tips on how to enhance your model before 3D printing, please say so in the comments. It is important for me to know what would you like to see next. You can have a lot of fun experimenting with CSM AI, and if you choose to, you can access other features like video to 3D model service or faster processing of your models. However, those are paid bonuses. Everything we covered so far is available for free. Let me also state that AI technology is getting more and more advanced and there are new techniques and solutions coming up every day. To save your time and effort, I am testing each and every one I come across with so I can teach you the cheapest, cleanest and easiest ways to utilize AI in your workflow. So if you want to be updated whenever there is a new breakthrough in this matter, consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching.